Hi everybody and welcome to Ukrania Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we play Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, it has been a while since uh, we all played Bald Baldur's Gate 2. I remember myself uh, uh, about 20 years ago when I was literally crazy for Baldur's Gate 2 Shadow of M and uh, I'm very excited now to, to try this game. Um, it's my first run, I didn't try the, the game yet and uh, I have to also I tell you one thing, I am not really used to play with the uh, version 5 of Dungeons and Dragons. My last uh, roleplay game was uh, Pathfinder, so that uses Pathfinder of course, but um, previously I played a lot with the 3.4, uh, 3.5 and 3. So it might be that I'm not super um, used to and I might do some mistakes, but this is our first run, so we are going to discover the game. The game is in early access which means uh, we are not going to have the full story included. Uh, now that I record, is the 9th of October 2020. And um, yeah, finally, 2020 is giving us something nice. <laughs> uh, that, that's good news. Um, the, anyways, this version includes uh, around about 20, 25 hours of gameplay. So for sure, we will not get uh, bored. And then we'll try to play the game and comment it, always in English, um, until the game will not be released in Italy. And then on my main channel, Andrew channel in, in Italian, I will also play Baldur's Gate 3 uh, in my mother tongue, but so far I, I think it makes no sense to play it in my language when English is the only available language. So let's click on new game and let's have a look on what's going to happen. Oh, I hate those guys. Mind flyers. They're, they were so dangerous in the previous episodes. And I think this is us. We, are, we all know what's gonna happen, right? It's so disgusting, but uh, <laughs> I will force myself to watch this part. I, of course, I saw the trailer already, so I know what's gonna happen. And it's gross. Holy crap. Now it's our turn. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, who are you? Okay, this episode will be interesting because we are going to build our character. I know that uh, we, we can actually import some pre-made characters, I think, but I want to create uh, someone from scratch. So the origin is custom, Australian, let's... Okay, the origins are not available yet. So, okay, let's, let's get started. So with the origin, we're going to play uh, a male character for this run. Let's pick the race. I, I want to play a rogue, um, which means uh, uh, we need to find a race with a very good uh, dexterity bonus. And most likely I will have to decide whether I want to pick intelligence or wisdom. Um, it, it all depends on the kind of rogue we want to play, but let, let's go step by step. As, as a rogue, the draw would be fantastic. The only issue of the draw is that uh, this guy has problems when, when he's um, walking under the sunlight. But um, as an alternative, I might take the Halfling, which is, of course, the best. Uh, for example, the Lightfoot is the best uh, rogue, but um, 
and he's lucky, when you roll a 1 for an attack roll ability check or saving throw, you can re-roll the die and must use the new roll. This is fantastic, it's an extra um, uh, roll. I, I love this uh, feature, but the draw is just cooler. That's, that's the point. I'm, now I'm playing like uh, a, the teenager I was when I was playing Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. I really want to fi find um, someone who can uh, really be cool to play. So I think I'm gonna take a draw. And we have a sub race the uh, Lolith uh, uh, Sworn draw, draw or Draw of the Seldarin. So let's read it uh, first. Raised by the Lord Cult in the city of Menzo Beranzan, these draw extol the virtues of their corrupt and merciless goddess, Lolth, marks her followers with the bright red eyes so the Underdark will learn to fear draw on sight. Okay, they have red eyes. They have the base racial speed, so they're faster than usual. Or no, it's nine meters, so I think it's quite standard. Let me see a human, for example. Yeah, it's nine, it's the same. Uh, Fee Ancestry. The Fee Wild casts a veil over your mind. You have advantage of saving throws against being charmed, and magic can't put you to sleep. Dexterity plus two, Charisma plus one, Rapier Proficiency, which is quite good as, uh, as a rogue, Short Sword Proficiency, same, Hand Crossbow, and Superior Dark Vision. This creature can see in the dark within 24 meters. And then we can uh, uh, we have an evocation, the dancing, la dancing lights, create a whips of light that illuminate a 12 meter radius. Quite good. This other guy here, what's the difference? They did their sub race, of course. They have exactly the same. They, they look to me. They look to me very similar. Dexterity and charisma. I don't see any difference here, and and that's that's exactly what I mean when I say, guys, I might make mistakes, but anyways, the, the um, Lord Sworn Draw, I think, is, is what I'm going to pick. Um, appearance, oh yeah. Hells. Should we do a female? Should we have to draw um, a, a woman? Because I have already an idea, as a, I have an inspiration, even even if she. Even if she was not a rogue, she was a cleric. I think that the people who played Baldur's Gate 2 already know who I'm talking about. I was in love with her. Uh, let, let, let's see if you guys are able to, to see who I'm inspiring um, yeah, to. And uh, write it down in, this, in the comment section. But please don't jump at the end of this video. Otherwise, uh, uh, the challenge is just not valid. A tidy slot. The stones are less worn here. Okay. Face. Recently uncovered. Yeah, there are, there are like several heads. Oh, I like this one. Uh, the color, the skin, it's quite okay. I would make it a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker. With the, the dusk tone, five. And um, the eye colors, they must be red. The hairstyle is quite good. Let me just have a look at the different hairstyle because I, I just like to, to check it. The graphic is, is amazing. I really like how the characters are portrayed. Okay. Looks like a, a doggy. Um, she reminds me a little bit of Lagerta Lotsbrock, but that's not the that's not the character I'm talking about. It was a it was a Baldur's Gate character. I, I think I will stick to the um, R9, but I want to have a look at the rest. Oh, the 13 is also quite good. This guy is it's not going to be a hairdresser simulator, I promise you, but. I don't know, I just love to check all the possibilities when I, I build my character. And bold. Now, okay, let's go to 9. I liked it. And let's stick to that. Hair color, absolutely. Though these are color, the white is fantastic. And let's pick a class. Of course, a cleric. Because she would have been a cleric, but... <laughs> let, let, let's look at... Um, let's have a look now at the 6 available classes in the um, in this uh, pre-release version. I hope they're gonna add more classes because six, very honestly, is too little, in my opinion, my perspective. We're missing um, very important classes. I'm not talking about the monk or, but come on, where's the barbarian? Uh, where are, where's the bard? Where is the bard? Oh, come on. I'm gonna take anyways a rogue. With stealth, skill, and uncanny reflexes, a rogue's versatility, let's 
Let's then get the upper hand in almost any situation. Dexterity 7. Okay, I'm not going to read it all. But our action, the sneak attack, is going to be very important. And the sneak range attack also. Now let's pick the skills. We have to, to select uh, um, four skills. Uh, so we have Acrobatics, Deception, Insight, Slate of End, and Stealth. I think it's quite good. Instead of... Um, the deception that I really don't care about. I would like to take perception, which is a wisdom. So we have um, acrobatic, okay, dexterity. Then we have inside wisdom. Then we have still dexterity with state of hand and stealth, another dexterity. Um, we could take another wisdom skill, perception, and we could create a spy, spy assassin, uh, which has uh, dexterity and wisdom as the main skills. It's obviously um, my personal preference. I'm not saying that this is the best character ever, but I really like it. So let's keep now jump to the abilities and we can assign our points. Of course, uh, here the, the game is already pre-allocating some skills, but we are going to have a, a 10, 10, 10 for the moment, just to have an idea. And uh, we know that dexterity starts with a 12, so th that's how it starts. Um, yeah, okay, exactly. So, with, with strength, uh, strength is not going to be our ability. And athletics uh, uh, is part of our... Are, are we sure? We have acrobatic and not athletics. So, uh, very honestly, I'm thinking to put strength to 8 um, for two reasons. One is a roleplay decision. Uh, my character is not going to be a strong character. It's going to be a smart a deep and uh, quick character, but not a strong one. Dexterity must go as much as possible. So we are going to boost Dexterity to 17. So at level 4, we will boost it to 18. Constitution is important. We need at least a, a, sec a point of Constitution. So I would say a 12. We, we jump to Wisdom, where we will take a, a 14 to have uh, the plus 2 bonus. And the rest can be allocated to intelligence and charisma. Um, maybe, maybe intelligence might be an idea. Or I could just, oh, really, I could bring, uh, I could use two points uh, to get, okay, now nah, that's, that's not actually my, my goal. And even constitution should remain there. Okay, let, let's bring 12-12. Uh, uh, Again, once again, this is a very poo, everything and nothing um, character, but uh, I like the idea that the primary skill will be dexterity, uh, the secondary skill will be wisdom, and then followed by constitution, intelligence, and charisma with a good amount, with, with a good um, level, and then strength will be our weak spot. Let's see. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? What? What? What's going on? Okay, what is this? Ah, here we can probably select the uh, other characters. No, 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 no. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a mistake. Um, I think we have to select our background and give a name. Oh man. Okay, so as an acolyte, we have uh, insight, uh, proficiency, and religion. No, we are going to be. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's nice. An urchin. After surviving a childhood on the streets, you now know how to make the most out of a very little. So, we have been uh, we have been children on the street. Our state of end proficiency is higher, and our stat proficiency is higher. So, that's quite good. I like it, and I think we can click convert to fourth. Ready, steady, and now we can go. Um. Oh, I forgot the name. Okay, now we have a, now we have our Vicky Viconia. That was the name, and I hope you guys uh, got it. Um, I think uh, I, I don't understand what's going on here. 
who you dream of who attracts you okay i need to select someone who i dream of uh-huh those are they, they look like uh, uh, gods or something like that oh yeah that's sexy um let's take a female let's take a female draw and venture forth oh no tattoo makeup oh we forgot our makeup but our, our rogue doesn't need any makeup let me see what's gonna happen I must say it's beautiful, really. The, the, I already, I'm already liking a lot the characterization, and uh, I'm liking a lot the fact that Keith Yankee and my players will be part of the game. And uh, yeah, it's quite good. I really like it. I really like how they they set up the story. Then, of course, we have to learn about the story. They're touching them with the tentacles and they are abducting citizens. So, and it's so easy for these mon flying mods. Uh, wow! Wait a minute. We have dragons. Dragons raiders. Or dragons riders. Ah, okay, they're defending the city. Love it. Oh man. This is what we call an acrobatic skill, a very high one. <laughs> we know it must be very difficult to, to ride a uh, dragon in this situation okay uh, our our guys here are trying to set themselves free This young Githyanki probably is gonna manage that. But she, she still has the bug in, in her brain. And I think we have the same bug as well. Wow. Okay, welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. Welcome. It's very bad. What a bad situation. And where are we? Knocked out, I, I guess I guess I am. Okay, let's let's wake up. Escape the Nautiloid, okay? 
with L we can check the, um, uh, the, the diary. We have to f uh, find a way off the Nautiloid. We have been abducted by mind flyers and infected with some kind of parasite. We need to find a way off this ship. Okay, good. So with the map, I can. Uh, sorry. Okay, I, I can move. I can move the map with uh, with the mouse with the center button. Uh, e is opening the the characters screen. Usually it was C, but C is doing something different. Okay. Actually, we have throw, dash, knock unconscious, and help, hide, shove, deep, jump. Oh, I love it already. I'm just trying to understand how can I highlight... Okay, here I'm changing my... my... Okay, with counter I can, I can throw an arrow. With uh, alt I can... See the chat. Ah, oh, this is what I meant. Okay. Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Yeah, you might be there. You you might be there soon again. Someone else got out. Okay, I can change my. Can, oh, it's it's a little bit uh, confusing me because I'm now I'm used to Pathfinder and other uh, games, and uh, I need to learn how to to move around the map easily with mouse and keyboard. Okay, the, ta the the button is Alt, so we can uh, highlight uh, our loot. Caustic bulb, void bulb, potion of healing. Oh yeah, Dead. potion of healing. Good. That's always good. The mind flyer now is empty, as the meaning of our lives. Let's go ahead. This is restoration. What it means. Uh, apparently, uh, okay. oh, here we have bo the bodies of some imps. Devil King. Yeah. Am I in the house? Yeah. I hear like children voices. Am I, am I drunk or is it something so spooky, really? Brain jar. Curious. Curious what? Mm. Maybe we have to jump there. Maybe we have to use a jump. Not enough. Not enough space. <laughs> Target is too far. Okay. Help us. Help us. They say they're not kids. They are like little creatures, but I don't know where they are. Okay. Apparently, I cannot jump there. Who's talking? Who's speaking? Brains. Ugh. Brains. Can't use. A brain in a jar. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a gith Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Interesting. thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Okay, guys, I'm going I'm going out of here. <laughs> Let me see if I can jump so high. I don't know. Do I? Well, it's cool. The point is that who's saying help us? Who, who's speaking? <gasps> there are there are people here. Okay, let, let me try to see if I can jump over there. I mean, I have no idea how, but uh, uh, that yeah, might. Maybe. Oh, okay. There was an elevator. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Fair enough. Curious. Let's talk about uh, with under operation. Who's this one? Man. Okay. 
Oh, Jesus. Don't tell me that. Oh, no. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. What? The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Okay, our Please. perception works. Before they return. They return. <sighs> Who am I talking to? A man on a brain. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Okay. The enemy. So many enemies. So, um, I destroyed the brain because this is a parasite of the mind flyer. I'm sorry. The elf is already dead. With bare hands. Okay. <laughs> so we decided to kill the elf because we realized that uh, he was infected and there are so many other brains and uh, disgusting things in here. Brains. Yeah. Curious. Yeah, curious. I would say disgusting. Brains. Okay, there is a chest here we can uh, we can open and we have a spike bulb and a caustic bulb. Uh, we can throw it to to um, uh, provide uh, acid damage. Let me see if I can finally jump. Let me let me see. Let me see. Oh fuck me! Oh, I'm so sorry. It was too high, and now we are we are hit. Oh yo yo, that's not good. Okay, I think we are going going out of here. Let me see. If we away from here. No, what am I doing? We have to run away. I mean, I I, I keep using the wrong buttons and uh, I apologize for that, but I, I try to get familiar with this uh, system. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squaw, you are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. Transform? What do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. That Within fun. days, we will be geich, mind flayers. I just made a screenshot for the cover of this gameplay. I'm um, sorry for the sound. Who are you? Your only chance of survival. And you mine, though it pains me to say it. Okay. We are turning into mind flyers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. I like this lady. Is the helm of our way out of here? It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth. Ship. Once in command, we will deal with our gay captors. Okay, on board then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Wonderful. We have a new companion. Uh, so she is a. Uh... I made a mistake. Uh, she is um, a fighter, Lysel. She has uh, already um, quite good uh, armor, a half plate, and a long sword, so a uh, double hand uh, weapon. 
while we have leather armor, which is quite good. I really didn't check our characteristics, but look, we have a very high armor class thanks to our dexterity. This is great. And there is a lot we can do, really, together. Let's use so uh, our friend. Okay, there is here. There, there are here enemies. Uh, maybe it might be good to press an F5 to create a quick save. And now we are fighting the imps. The the fight. Oh man, there are a lot. The fight is usually turn based, as far I, as I'm concerned. Let's rush in front with our lady and. Uh, Okay, end of the turn, now the imp are surprised, and now it's our turn, are we using our ball? Yeah, that's great. Can I already hide? Not enough movement, okay. I should have, um, I, I should have hidden before, but okay. We have a very high chance to charge the first imp and hit him. Yeah, that's quite good. And now we have to pass. The imps are using uh, fire weapons and uh, um, a crossbow. I think I can use my bow too. But it's just one attack. Okay, that's not the best. Not enough resources. Can I, can I see cover somehow? Maybe. Oh, oh, miss. I'm very happy to have so much, uh, su such a dexterity. Okay, let's. Um, the target is too far. Hmm. Nothing, I, I just have to try to move against them, even if my... Okay, I can try to use a potion of healing. That's that's probably a good idea. They're seeking advantage with the height. Yeah. And now we can still use our... Um, uh. Can I try to have a sneak attack? Um, didn't work, I would say. And, uh, uh, guys, I could have... Eh, I didn't realize that, but I could have gone here. Okay, we can charge this other imp. And we probably kill him. No, not really. Oh, man. Let's use another potion. A plus eight, quite good. Oh no, now we have been hit with Viconia. Viconia got uh, a bolt in her knee. <laughs> no, not really. Now we should we should be able to really Yeah, that's that was great. That was really good. And uh, and now we kill this little thing. Ooh, a 20! Critical! You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Of course I am, of course. No. Okay, let me see if we can uh, uh, use these uh, uh, bodies uh, and uh, maybe find some nice stuff. And then I would suggest to clean up the room and then continue, maybe using the ability of Viconia of uh, hiding. That I cannot find here. Okay, now Viconia is hidden. And I think that uh, when she's hidden, Lyo is not following her. Even because I'm using Lyo herself. <laughs> I'm using her. Okay, guys, I think that for this episode, uh, it will be a little bit shorter than usual. I, I think I'm going to play longer episodes, but as a beginning, I am happy 
I really like this game. I, I will do my best to continue the campaign and I hope you liked as well. Um, I suggest you, I ask you please to, to uh, subscribe to this channel and leave a, a nice thumb up and a comment. I have a question for you. First of all, which class would you have played? Uh, or which class you are playing if you already purchased the game? And the second question, how would you use Viconi in combat? Now that we have a fighter, maybe Viconi can really be useful um, fighting the enemies with a ranged attack, with sneak attack, I think it could be really cool. Uh, or maybe you have a better opinion, maybe you would uh, multi-class her, maybe you would try to transform her in a, in a magician or, 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 a, or a warrior or whatever. I'm curious to know your opinions as well. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.